Okay, so here we are again, uh, another week in housing development number three, and I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I went ahead and I knocked down another wall. Uh, Terry is doing a fantastic job, and he's actually uh, convinced me that the whole bathroom had to be gutted, so that, that bathroom I just remodeled with all the new tile and everything, I went ahead and knocked it all out, and uh, I'll just kind of show you what we got going on here now. I'm on, uh, I haven't been living here for about a month now, so... No more ATV motorcycle stuff until I get this done. Basically, this was the kitchen, and we had a wall here, and we had a wall here, and then the doorway was here. So I went ahead, and we gutted this, and we knocked that wall down. Apparently, this is not load-bearing. This is going to open this up. Um, I'm probably going to end up putting the fridge back on this wall. The idea was to put the fridge behind this wall, but the washer and dryer is going to go toward the back door, and we're going to move it out of the... Uh, the breaker box room and the refrigerator is going to be back which isn't going to allow the sunlight it'll block the the window light however just when i was knocking this wall down um the light from the kitchen was coming through i felt like it was a indiana jones movie i was hammering it and hammering it and making holes and i could just see the light coming through so i was like yeah this wall's got to go so we're going to have a little bit of electrical work and then uh leading in here um, Terry had ripped this out to get to the plumbing to make it easier and after he ripped this wall out that's the bathroom there you I started to see where the wood was rotten and uh, the termites had come in years ago so no active termites talk to a termite guy he said they'd, they'd still be in here they're not in here anymore so um, got the wood in here this is for the floors he Terry still got to do some joist work he told me so this is coming along pretty well um, what Terry's doing is incredible here. He put in insulation in here, just this foam board and insulation, and you really can't can't see it. But just by coming in and doing this insulation work across here of this crawl space, um, I came over here when it was 20 degrees, and it isn't. Uh, my furnace isn't running. It's just incredible what a little bit of that foam board along all the the uh, crawl space can do. So um, that's good. And then uh, all the all the the joists are put in, all the new suspension beams. And then you know here we go with the bathroom. And I hated doing this, but this. Uh, this is my bathroom now. Most expensive things to do in a house, kitchen, and a bathroom. Well, I don't even know if I consider this a house now. So, J.B. Pritzker pulled this in his big old mansion, our glorious leader here in Illinois. Oh, but just to pull the toilets out, and then uh, the house is uninhabitable. So, um, what you can see here is here's some of the original. See, T Terry wasn't able to get to all this, and this wood isn't even being supported. This is, the, this is how they had it supporting this house, and this is where it sunk right here it's just by wood and these wood boards aren't even he's jacked the house up so high that the, these all these wood boards they're not even touching in those concrete blocks right there they're not touching either right there so he's got to come in and move this but this is going to make access so much easier for him on this job to uh redo the bathroom and i've decided in the bathroom here um We've got a little bit of space going in here because we're going to a tankless water heater 
that this gas line, this is the gas line to the furnace, it's going to be moved probably on that wall there. And this wall here um, that's knocked out, it, we're going to gain six, six, to, six to eight inches is what he told me. From the outside of here, we're going to move it out here. And you say, oh, is that really worth six to eight inches? Well, yeah, it is because this bathroom is so small. You basically to get in the to get in the shower, you've got to run an S an S system through here. So we might be able to move this drain and put the shitter over here on this side, and then uh, you have your sink, your shitter, and then a walk-in shower here. You know, I'm, I'm going tile all the way up the walls. We'll go to a, a rainhead faucet here. Don't know if I want to go to the ceiling or keep it on the straight pipe here, but. Um, not as stressed out as I have been the last couple weeks over this whole deal. It's just, I didn't have any money saved for this. It was all just an emergency situation. So, um, going to say in uh, high spirits, I've got some uh, videos for the Players Outlaw coming out. And also check out the podcast on Wednesday, the Hump Day Update. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a chance. Never done a podcast, so I'm out of here.